Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover the discrete OSINT tools that allow anyone to spy, eavesdrop, stalk someone legally. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. There are many free and paid open source intelligence tools available for a variety of purposes, such as searching metadata and code, researching phone numbers, investigating people and identities, verifying email addresses, analyzing images, detecting wireless networks, and analyzing packets. So uh, those are some of the things that um, these tools can do. So now uh, I'm going to talk about the list, right? So uh, here are some useful open source intelligence tools or OSINT for short. Uh, we have Babel X. Babel X is a multilingual internet search tool that finds publicly available information from sources like social media, forums, news sites, and blogs across 200 different languages. It filters relevant information into different categories for OSINT analysis. Next, we have Built With. Built With is a website profiling tool that shows current and historical information about a website's technology usage, no way. technology versions, and hosting. Next, we have Creepy. <laughs> Creepy is an open source intelligence gathering tool that collects geolocation information through social networking platforms. Next, we have darksearch.io. Dark Search is a dark web search engine that allows organizations to research and access sites directly through Tor uh, to web. Next, we have Ghunt. Ghunt is an OSINT tool used to find data associated with Google's accounts, including account owner name, Google ID, YouTube, and other services like photos and maps. Next, we have Google Dorking. Google, Google Dorking is also known as Google Dork, which involves using advanced search uh, queries to find security and configuration information about websites. Next, we have Greg.app. Greg.app is a search engine that searches code from public repositories on GitHub. Next, we have Intel Owl. Intel Owl is an OSINT tool that gathers threat intelligence data about a specific file, an IP, or a domain through a single API request. Are you serious? Next, we have Intelligence X. And Intelligence X is a search engine and data archive that searches Tor, I2P, data leaks, and the public web by email, domain, IP, CIDR, Bitcoin address, and more. Next, we have Mal Maltigo. Maltigo is an OSINT and graphical link analysis tool for gathering and connecting information for investigative tasks. Uh, next, we have O365 Squatting. O365 Squatting is a Python tool used to check inputted domains against O365 infrastructure to identify typo squatted domains that do not appear in DNS requests. Next, we have OSINT Framework. The OSINT Framework is an online directory that lists open tool source, uh, sorry, that lists open source tools for OSINT gathering sorted by source type. Next, we have uh, Rengen. Uh, Rengen is an automated reconnaissance framework used for OSINT gathering that streamlines the recon process. Next, we have Recon. Uh, Dash NG, and that is an open source intelligence gathering tool used to conduct web based reconnaissance. Next, we have Search Code, which is a source code search engine that indexes API documentation, code snippets, and open source repositories, which is free software. Next, we have Shodan. Uh, Shodan is a search engine used for gathering intelligence information from a variety of IoT devices like webcams routers and servers next we have social mapper 
and that is an OSINT tool that uses facial recognition to correlate social media pro um, profiles across different sites on a large scale. Next, we have Spiderfoot, and Spiderfoot is a reconnaissance tool that automatically queries over 100 public data sources, OSINT to gather intelligence on IP addresses, domain names, Damn! email addresses, names, and more. These, these names are starting to get a little bit uh, complex. We have Sublister, and it's not with an E before the R, it's with a three. Sublister is a Python tool designed to enumerate subdomains of websites using search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, Beidou, and Ask. Next, we have the Harvester, and the Harvester is a penetration testing tool used to gather information about emails, subdomains, hosts, employee uh, names, open ports, and banners from different public sources like search engine, search engines, PGP key servers, and Shodan computer database. Next, we have TenEye, and TenEye is a reverse image search engine and image recognition tool. Z Next, we have ZMap, which is a network tool used for internet-wide network surveys. So, here's the big question. Is OSINT legal? The U.S. Code defines the legal use of open source intelligence tools as <laughs> intelligence that is produced from publicly available information and is collected, exploited, and disseminated in a timely manner to an appropriate audience for the purpose of addressing a specific intelligence requirement. OSINT analysts, uh, analysts use specialized recon tools to harvest relevant data. These tools and techniques are legal as they aid in data collection, analysis, and processing from publicly available information. It's important to note that while OSINT deals with information that anyone on the internet can find, it often uncovers information that most people do not know is public. The lack of knowledge is where the gray area exists for OSINT. The legality and ethics of OSINT come down to how vulnerabilities are managed. For example, an organization has accidentally leaked employee credentials on Amazon S3, which is a public storage bucket. The leak is discovered using a code search engine. So what that means is a threat actor could discover this leak and exploit it for social engineering or other cyber attacks. An OSINT analyst could alert the organization according to accordingly to ensure fast remediation. Given the prevalence of scenarios such as what we just talked about, organizations must develop clear frameworks for OSINT to ensure analysts are following correct procedures. Strict regulatory and compliance requirements such as GDPR further highlight the need for concrete ethical guidelines. So that is uh, a list of OSINT tools. Do you think that there are better ones out there than the ones I listed? Uh, what do you think? Do you think OSINT is legal? I want to know your perspective. Please uh, click the notification bell. Please click the subscribe button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.